Welcome to the Friends of Friends podcast. Here are your hosts, Henry Hargitay and Jason Cole. Yeah! We back with episode nine, baby. Back with episode nine, Friends of Friends podcast. Nine. I'm Henry Hargitay. That is Jason Cole. As always, you can catch us on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Go check us out. We're over there. We see all the support. We see the follows, the likes, everything. And Keep it be up. be a friend of a friend. And be a friend of a friend. And one of our favorite friends of a friend is back. Day one. Talking you know what it is when you hear that. <laughs> Heard you. What's goody, baby? What's up, y'all? Ish, talk to us about MVP. You're not too happy, huh? Man. Um, I personally would have given it to me this year. That's that's just my thing. Jokic is definitely worthy of it. I'm not mad that he got it, but if I had a vote, my vote would have been for Joel this year. And is that because Jokic got it last year, or is that because he that's really because deserves it? I think he it? had a better year this year. I mean, he, he was he was the leading league the, the leading league scorer in the NBA this year. His team was the second ranked team in the East. You know, mm-hmm. um, obviously, you know, Joker had to deal with you know his teammates being injured. Uh, but Jamal, so did so, so did Joel Embiid. Well, I'm, and and then for me, the whole Ben Simmons saga was another added factor to it. You know, not knowing right. coming or going, and then having to switch gears when James Harden came aboard. There you and go. Still, you know, and he didn't play through. right away when he came either. Right. So, and then again, I'm not saying Joker's not. You know, he's he's one of the greatest players in the world today. But me personally, I would have given it to Joel this year. Ish. The funny part about that to me is when I like watch Jokic play. The more and more I see him, I feel like if you were an NBA player, like that would be your prototype. That would be like your NBA comparison. You would have his type of game, I feel like, which is why whenever, whenever, no, not because you're chubby. I just feel like you've got that creative style. That was a fat joke. Nah, yo, yo, this guy thinks he's the equivalent to Serge Ibaka. I always said I'm Serge Ibaka. Oh yeah, I seen that. I seen that. (laughs) Wow. So I'm the equivalent of Joker. I feel like you'd play that type of game, that high screen roll, just popping and, that up right there. And I'm just as nice as Damon Stoudemire, one of my favorite <laughs> from back in the day. But, you know, listen, <laughs> I'm just saying it for a record. But, but, you know what? Hey, that's a compliment. I'll take it, man. You, it, you're welcome. And But the point being, um, I just don't think ha- – it's harder to justify not giving it to Jogic than it, than it is – how can you justify not giving it to him? He was the first player ever with 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, and 500 assists in a season. He led that shit-ass team with no players, no MPJ, no Jamal Murray, to 48 wins. And I get it. He's not playing anymore, but it's a regular season award. And so the it's stats are shit there. shit players, Henry. Don't say that. Come on. Jeff Green is OG. He's going <laughs> to give you 10 and 4. He- 10 and 4, yeah. 7 and, and 3. <laughs> I'm just saying, you're gonna get Monte Morris gonna, gonna give you eight points and four assists. Will Barton could go off for twenty any night. They're not bums. Stop they're a lottery that. team. They're a lottery team without Jokic. As uh, the uh, Sixers are a lottery up. team without Embiid. If you take Jokic and you still have Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. and all the other players that's there without Jokic, they're not a lottery team. You still got the Knicks. And still, and I'm saying this down. year's team. Play. This year's team. Campuzo? Look, if he's the MVP, <laughs> you won one game in the playoff series. You won one game. It's a regular That's season cheap. award. So this is the problem with this, this, this argument. It's a regular season award, and playoffs don't count. So in the regular season, out of 70, what is it, 82 games or 72? 82 games. 82. I believe. 82. He won 48, okay? Joel Embiid won 51. Three-game difference. They both went out. Both went without their Robin counterpart, right? Very true. And okay, and when James Harden came, th- that just didn't happen right away. You know, he got Boogie Cousins to back him up because he was playing 48 minutes a game. Jokic, Boogie came, gave him a breather, and he started playing better. Well, you had a completely different opinion on who the MVP should have been, correct? For sure, for sure, for sure. My MVP is Devin Booker. That's a good one. Devin Booker. 
Devin Booker and Jason Tatum has been counted out across the board. These two young men are the most skilled off the dribble. Okay? They can shoot it right, left, catch. It don't matter. And they score at will. They're not a three, three missed, three missed shot guy, if that makes sense. Meaning they won't miss three shots in a row. If they do miss two, they're doing something different, getting to the basket, getting to the free throw line, making sure that they're still in rhythm throughout the game. My MVP is Devin Booker. I didn't think about people, Booker. That's a, a lot one. of people say no because Chris Paul is on that team. And I get it. But everybody has somebody on their team at this right. rate. LeBron got AD. Embiid got Harden. Right? Jokic has Jamal Murray. Obviously, towards ACL, it's different. But every team has at least two. So with that being said, it's okay for that. Everybody else is okay. Jay Crowder's a defender. Macau Bridges is an elite defender. Really good. DeAndre Ayton rebounds so, Henry, the shit out of the ball. Come on. Who would I have as my runner up? Right. Jason Tatum. For sure. Good pick, Got baby. I would go pick. Jokic, Tatum, Embiid. Book, Tatum, Embiid, Jokic, Giannis. My five. Just like I had, that. I had Giannis. I had Giannis third. I mean, you can never exclude him. Right. Right? Because he's like numbers, a bronze. Yeah, he's his, like number, like his numbers is off the chart. Yeah, his numbers is off the chart. When you exclude him, you just hate him. Right. Like me, most of the time. You're a anyway, hater. Anyway, I am a hater. Speaking of, speaking of best player in the world, I heard a stat the other day that I couldn't believe. And all you math motherfuckers out there, you can check this all you want. But if there were a hypothetical one-on-one -on -one basketball tournament of every human in the entire world, the winner of the tournament would only have to win 33 games. Go check it. It's a fact. So my question here on Friends of Friends podcast is, because I've thought about this long and hard, Ish and Jason, each of you, how many games are you winning in this hypothetical tournament? Out of 33, one-on-one, -on -one, how many fouls I get? <laughs> you call your own fouls you get unlimited no refs I, there's not that many refs in the world they gotta be oh, playing in the tournament shit. <laughs> first to 11 no, you call your own fouls first to 11 Henry how about 5 how about I got, 7 I'm gonna do 7, seven. first to 7 I'm a little tough bro I, I, no. <laughs> I think I, I think I win games out of the 33 how many 7 7 out of the 33 yeah, I'm gonna die out after that because that's 11 times seven is 77 buckets. I just handed out, <laughs> so that's my math equation right there. If I just scored 77 points, I'm Luka Doncic out. I'm gonna, yeah. just, I'm, you know, I did my well right for now. my amazing physique. You know, as we all can see, <laughs> I'll give myself uh, like 14 games, but if I use my wit, 17 games. Well, why wouldn't you use your wit? Well, I only have to use it when I'm going against guys, you know, like Thank pros you. and stuff like that. If I'm going against guys like myself, I'm going to be talking shit all the time. I'm going to get in their head. And it's a wrap after Over that. after that, right? So shit after talk that. a guy out of his game. I ain't going to lie. When you, you can shit talk, right? And you just score that first basket. I was like, damn, I ain't going to lie. Fat boy, you really good. Now I was like, yeah, it's over after you that. You can play. Now I know. Yo, yo that was the air ball? Oh, it's over. It's over. Yeah. Uh, Hank, what? how much points you fucking scoring over there talking shit? See, that's why it made me worried that you said seven games because I truly think I'm getting to double digits. I think I'm winning at least 12. I'm getting to round 12 of this tournament because all Man. it takes for me, I don't play that's defense. 122 points. I, I don't really play defense, but if I get ball first, <laughs> if I get ball first, all it takes is one. All it takes is one and I'm... All right, real oh, quick. So real no, quick. no stops, Hank. No stops. Where can you use them, though, Henry? You shoot a lefty or a righty? I'm going to shoot with whichever hand I want. I'm amphibious. I'll just shoot with whatever hand I want. <laughs> uh, I remember being in the gym, being in the gym with Henry, and we shooting jump shots, trying to compete against each other just for the fuck of it. And we're shooting out of 20, right? Literally. <laughs> oh, I remember this. Shooting out of 20, and we're passing it to each other, right? So... His passes got to be crisp. 
passes are crisp. It's on target. He's passing the ball off, fucked up. So he wins, obviously, 14 out of 20. This is his regular. He shoots 14 out of 20. When he shoots really well, he shoots 18 out of 20. That's his norm. My norm is 11. <laughs> I make 11 out of 20 fucking 50 times straight. Ask him. I lost every fucking shooting competition and I made 11 out of 20. Oh, I was like, damn, I'm shooting over 50% and I'm still losing. <laughs> Got to get on the gun, man. Got to get on the gun. Got to get on the so, gun. You were super, like, suspiciously consistent at 11. That was crazy. Yeah. I'll, I remember but that. Would you rather a super consistent 55% shooter or somebody that's going to give you 80% one day and then 0 for 14 that's the next? Fact. Yeah, I'm man. just keeping it a bean because I'm taking the consistent. That's a super fact. Yeah. That's what I do. I have a question. You guys are both like, you know, journalists for the sake of this uh, show. What the oh, heck happened? What what happened with Duncan Robinson? What just fell out the rotation, right? Yeah. What what happened? He's just not playing anymore. He got the he fought, back, he, and that was it. As far as playing time, you talking about? Yeah, he just lost all his burn. He's been putting up twenty five high fives a game for the past like week. <laughs> he said twenty five <laughs> high fives. Lord have mercy. Listen, rotations matter, right? And lineups matter. Look at the Memphis Golden State Series. Steven Adams did not play the first two, three games. He played in the last game and got a double-double, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but I know he affected the game in a he tremendous way. Oh, absolutely. Yes, because they were talking about him on ESPN all night. I didn't nope. see the game, but all I heard was Steven Adams is back. Steven Adams is back. At that rate, you have to be ready when your number is called. That's yeah. what they say in the league. You make it to be one of the 411 players in the NBA out of 32 teams or whatever it is, at that rate, you getting millions to hoop. Be ready. He just got the bag last year, didn't he? I'm not even 100% sure with Steve. He got the bag. I just don't know. Last this is ninth year. This is ninth year out of pit. You would think, though, too, Kyle Lowry is hurt, right, with his hamstring. You would think he would yeah, find his yeah. way back in. At least off the bench to give them a little sun and nothing. Steven sure. Adams, no matter what year it is, no matter what he's doing, will he's never will never get the respect he deserves. That man deserves so much more respect than he gets. He's an animal. When I think of bully season, I just the, that's the first person that comes to oh. mind. Agreed. Agreed. And, that's a fact. And Serge Ibaka. <laughs> and Henry Hargitay. <laughs> Uh, we'll cut nice. it there. Until until next time, friends of friends, go like, go subscribe. We'll see you guys soon. Be a friend of a friend, ish. We out. Thanks for checking out the Friends of Friends podcast. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell a friend. 